Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that if you are planning for preparation of a Scrum product on an interview, so this video could be very helpful for you. So a friend, a very general and a very common question generally asked in an interview with a product owner that what are the characteristics of a good product backlog item? So today we shall discuss this topic in detail. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, a product backlog represents all the goals and desired outcomes within the development of a product. They are the specific task in a team hopes to complete when they set out to design or improve upon a product. Backlogs are in constant evolution, changing and adopting based on the current needs of stakeholders and customers. To keep a backlog up to date and its most effective form, it needs to be continuously refined and adopted. This process takes time, but there are simple, powerful strategies for maintaining a good quality backlog. A good product backlog has four characteristics. It is detailed appropriately estimated emergent and prioritized now uh, one by one we shall discuss in detail detail appropriately friend details matter especially as a user story rises in priority as a backlog items gets closer to being completed or moved into a sprint backlog it requires more detail upcoming backlog items should be detailed appropriately so they can be better understood by the development team the closer an item is to being completed, the more detail it should have. On the other hand, items that are lower on the priority list don't require nearly as much detail. It's poor use of time to add details to lower priority items since you never know how the backlog is going to evolve. You could waste a lot of time detailing lower priority items when they might be removed or revised later on in the process. Next is the estimated. Uh, thorough estimation should be focused on high priority items that will be track, tackled soon. As you refine your backlog and add more details to top priority items, you can improve your estimation. A good option is using story points to zoom in on the details. They can help you accurately or practically reflect the reality of an item from the customer perspective. Emergent. The more you learn about the product and its customers, the more you can improve your product backlog. The backlog is a living document that represents your plan at any uh, given time. It's not set in stone and it should see revisions and improvements as you go. Next is the prioritized. A product backlog needs prioritization. Items at the top are a high priority and items toward the bottom are a low priority. When deciding which items should be prioritized, consider the value each item will provide. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.